Hey everyone, this is Jesse with uh, Plant Propagation USA. Today I wanted to do a video on starting seeds in net cups. So previously I've seen um, you could do soil cubes, you can do typical 10-20 trays, uh, you can do plant pots, all sorts of options to start seeds. Um, I forgot that I actually had these net, uh, net cups and basically I think this is a two inch, two inch diameter net cup and there's slits all the way around, there's slits on the bottom. Um, I saw a video online where they started seeds in these and they'll actually, the main benefit is that one, these are reusable so you could uh, start your seeds in here and kind of have a schedule. Um, this is a, a piece of kale but the reusable, it's much easier than a soil cube. Uh, basically, we're just packing some dirt in there, we're pushing it down a little bit, placing the seed in there, and then watering. Um, so it's reusable, it's easy, but then it also has the benefit of um, air pruning. So the roots um, typically will not go and grow in the air, they will prune themselves off. So when you put in a typical pot, um, those roots are circling around the bottom because they hit the bottom of the pot, they hit the sides of the pot, and then they start circling. So the longer you grow in a pot, the more bound and um, kind of degrades the growth of plants in general. Uh, this one, you probably have a better idea of what it looks like. So this is a peat, um, peat pellet pot thingy, I, uh, a rooter plug. Um, I had some leftovers and so I just placed them in there. Um, but yeah, when the air, when it hits the air, you can see the roots kind of just stop growing. And they're not going to circle around. So that's a net pot. Um, like I said, super easy process. Fill this up, um, compress it a little bit, put in a seed, and then water it from the bottom. Um, so I will typically put these in a plant tray. Ideally, um, you have a mesh screen on the bottom or some type of area where if you set this down on something, it will air prune from the bottom as well. So on these grown plants that I have, um, I have a leftover window screen. So I'll water the plants in the morning, make sure they're nice and soaked. I'll place these outside and place them on top of this screen. They can drain excess water and they'll also air prune as well. So all these are kale, um, different kinds of growing medium. We have those rooter plugs and then this is a miracle Grow Organics uh, soil potting mix. Seems like this is doing much better than the um, sterile rooter plugs. These guys could probably use some fertilizer or whatnot, um, but we'll get to that. So you have a general overview of, of this. So typically I will stack up a tray and it really depends on how big your family is, how much lettuce or how many plants you're eating of that type. Um, so in the past three weeks, I kind of have a three week cycle. The first week is gonna be growing the plants out. So you're potting up the net cups, um, you're watering them, you're putting them in the, I put mine on the windowsill um, under a plant light and I will skip to that part and go show you um, after one week has been inside and the plants are growing. So these are after a few days, less than a week, and you can see the lights are making it look really weird. Um, but basically these are lettuce seeds. So these are all in the rooter plugs this time around. Um, pretty good germination rates. I think everything except for one has not germinated. Maybe a seed didn't go in there or whatnot. But I'm making sure that these are watered thoroughly. Um, so every day I'm checking them, making sure they have some water. I'll drain the excess water. I don't want them too wet. And then this is in a south facing window so that there's direct sun, there's heat. Um, they're obviously inside, so it's around 70 degrees. So they germinate. And then I have this three pronged um, light to give extra light to these plants and get them up a little bit. And, you know, they're only a couple inches away. Uh, you can tell if the lights are too far away, the seedlings are too long and lengthy. 
if they're too close, the seeds or the plants are trying to get away from the lights. So a good distance away, not too far, not too close. So the timer is on for 12 hours a day. And so I'll check on them every day. After about a week or so, I'm going to start getting them ready to go outside and hardening off. So I want to germinate them, grow them for around a week, maybe a little longer, depending on what kind of plant. Once they're up to size, uh, we start the hardening off process, which I'll show. So these are the kale plants. I think they're about two to three weeks old. So they were germinated inside under that plant light. Um, they grew and they're maybe about an inch tall or so right now. Uh, so I've started this week on the hardening off process and basically that's putting in one of those trays, making sure they soak up um, water and maybe this is every other day. You can pick these up and see how heavy they are. If they're super dry, um, you'll know right away. So just making sure they're watered and I'm watering from the bottom. Um, and then I'm just placing them on a screened surface so that the roots can grow down and get air pruned. The excess water can go down and just drip off so they're not too wet. Um, and then each day, so like day one, they have a little bit of sunlight. They have the temperature outside. I'm down in Texas in the southern part, so um, it's February and you know it's 70 degrees. So it's not gonna be too cold outside, um, just depends on what plant you're planting, but make sure it's not too crazy. Uh, it's not too windy. Um, these plants got, you know, the first day, maybe an hour or so of sun, maybe, um, just a little tiny bit. And then the next day they get more, the next day they get more. And by the end of the week, they should be fine to be out in full sun, um, out in the elements. And at that point, I'll make sure they, you know, look strong enough that they're uh, resistant to wind maybe they're stocking up a little bit and then I'll plant them in the garden bed so with that that's a, a good overview on how to start seeds um, in these little net cups you could get bigger net cups um, probably after every round you want to wash them off maybe a slight solution of bleach or something just so that you're not transferring any disease to the next batch of plants um, but if you have a cycle, you know, maybe every Monday you're planting out six or so plants um, and then every week you have six new plants, six new plants. Um, so I think I have a, a, a 50 pack of pots and so that's uh, quite enough to keep me going um, to plant out new plants. So right now it's the winter crops. I could be doing spinach, kale, um, some lettuce that I have, things like that. And maybe going further um, in the springtime, it could be transferred to like a cucumber or something that might uh, transfer easily or might be easily grown in a pot like that. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just comment below.